Alexa, play Metallica. Shuffling songs by Metallica on Amazon Music. All right, where is chat at? Uh, chat showing options. Oh, I seen somebody. What's it say there? I'm here, Med. Don't lose faith in the lives. <laughs> All right, I won't. All right, and I got it turned horizontal. We got one mofo here. Thanks for joining. People ask for it to be horizontal. I figured that all out in the last couple of days. Good morning. Come on in. Yeah, you know what? I always forget that this stand can go up like that. <laughs> that helps. All right. So now, now I remember last week. And by the way, welcome to the show. What we're gonna do from now on is I'm going to stream one show a week um, on YouTube and we'll do one show a week on Instagram. What ended up happening last week with Instagram, everyone was experiencing what I was, so it was some sort of app issue or, or, or something like that. But I actually enjoyed doing the YouTube stuff, so why not let's do one a week YouTube and one a week Instagram just to kind of keep everybody going. I don't even got nothing to smoke yet, you guys. I kind of rushed out here and did my garden maintenance because I knew at 10 o'clock we were going live. Say, so, hey man, good day, good day. So, and usually I like to say, what's up tubers, growers, and cannabis smokers? All right, we got 19 of you. Now, does this let you share any video that you've taken? What's that? No. Oh. So it doesn't really... Oops. It doesn't really look like it lets you share any video. No. At least none that I can find. None that I can find. That sucks. Because what I wanted to talk about, I, I made a little video of it. I don't know if we'll be able to go in there. It always cuts out, you know. All right. Garage is a mess. All right, so we got 19 people in. Thanks for joining, you guys. Just, uh, all messages are visible. Some messages such as potential spam may not be visible. Okay. All right. Good day, sir. So how do we see that? Oh, I can scroll like that. Morning, morning. All right, now I'm getting it. It's like I'm a newbie. <laughs> I'm a newbie on the YouTube. What's up, man? What's up? Everybody's out. What's up? Superior Buds is in, man. Thanks for joining, brother. All right. So, but here's the thing, you guys. What in the hell YouTube hell is going on here? <laughs> um, I swear I've watched reposted live streams, and it shows people the live stream chat on YouTube. Am I wrong in that? Have you guys seen that? I swear I've seen that on YouTube, but I'm feeling like, um, you know, last week's chat, it didn't show it. So I don't know. Yeah, it keeps chat. Well, why didn't it keep my chat last week? Is it because I wasn't horizontal? I was vertical? Because I went back and watched that and I had a few comments and, and nobody could see the chat. And that's one of the, what's, what do you say? I've seen that a lot. What's the topic for today? Yeah, well, that's what I was disappointed about because I was going to talk about, you know, we did the cloning yesterday or last week. Yeah, it might have detected it as a live short. Oh, okay. 
All right, last week I was going over the cloning. I was doing some cloning. So we talked about some cloning techniques and some other things. Um, and now I wanted to talk about um, what to do after your dome is all set up. You know, so I did make a little video, but it's not gonna let me share it. Um, I'm afraid if we walk in there and I try talking, it'll try to cut the live stream off. We could do that right now. My stand is charging up. Um, so that's, that's really what I wanted to talk about is after you get your dome set up, after you get your clones and the plugs. And this is specifically about clone doming. Um, some other shows we'll get into, I'll bust out the Oxy cloner and uh, we'll talk all about that and break it down and tell you how to keep that sterile, that clean for your best success rate when it comes to cloning and that style. And not only for the Oxy cloner, it's for all the other aero cloners. It's really all the same, how to keep it clean, sterile, um, water temperature down. I think some of the biggest issues I see with the cloners is um, when we buy when we buy the <laughs> excuse the dust on this I think some of the biggest issues we have with these small style cloners whether it's the oxy or any of the other ones is water temp you got a water temp issue because of the volume of water is so small so when we get into that one i want to talk about you know buy the biggest cloner that a you can afford and b that you have space for that will help bring the water temperatures down a little bit and obviously do not have your cloner hey hey, hey what's up Time for a dip. Yeah, actually, I'm going to set something up over here, and I think I'm going to I'm gonna do a, a dab of Pedro's Critical Kush here in a second. So we'll get into that maybe next week on YouTube, and we'll talk about, uh, you know, your cloning machines, maybe even how to set them up. I'll tell you what products I use and stuff like that. But the biggest issue with these is, uh, yeah. It is, it is. I agree with you, Spirit. Water temperature is your biggest challenge and biggest downfall when it comes to these smaller cloners. Right? They're just they're just small. Once I moved from this and went to the bigger ones, a lot of my issues with cloning in this cloner went away. Can I set this up and clone and still be successful? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely you can. You know, but just do yourself a favor. Don't put it in an 80 plus degree room. You know, and you can put the ice bottles in there, but that just becomes, you know, real monotonous after a while. All right. Dude, you guys see this badass rosin evolution hoodie that they sent me? These dudes are so cool. I've been partnered with them for a long time. The Megaro One discount code is still active. So if you ever need to resupply, what's up with this, the, that smoke car guy trashing you on IG? I don't even know who that dude is. What's he, what was he saying? I don't even know what you're talking about. What's his name? Long time see you, buddy. Hey, what's up? Smoking Gart. I'll check him out. I think I know who you might be talking about. So check this out. If it's this dude that you're talking about who's trying to trash me, he placed an order back in December of last year. He sent me, if it's this guy, a customer. We'll start talking about that. What's up, man? What's up? Let her rip. Um... So he placed an order back in December of this last year. He received his order in January. A few clones, he ordered four clones. He made a nice, nice order. Um, yesterday or the day before, he hits me up bitching 
about his clone. He broke his clone. Actually, it was in his possession for over two months. This should still not be a clone, right? The guy ordered it in December, received it in January, hits me up at the end of March, bitching, telling me I'm a hack, I'm this, I'm that, and I'm all this other stuff. If it's, if it's the dude that you're talking about on IG, and I don't worry about anybody trashing me on IG. I don't care. It's not going to offend me. And it doesn't need electricity. True that. You're right. Because the pumps do create heat. So he hits me up and sends me this random picture of a stem of a plant. I couldn't even, you couldn't even tell if it was a cannabis plant that broke off and he was bitching because it was hollow. Telling me that I have a diseased plant, this and that, which I don't. The plant's been tested. It's, it's whatever he's talking about. It's like, dude, this has been in your garden for, one, for two, over two months. You're hitting me up over a clone that you A, busted, and B, it shouldn't even be a clone still. How's it still a clone? It, two months later, eight weeks in your possession, it should be a, a, a vibrant plant. If you're having an issue with the plant, you need to step back, take a look in the mirror, and wonder what you got going on in your garden. Instead, he busts me up this big long email blaming me, telling me I'm a hack, telling me I'm unprofessional, all this other shit, and is diseased. He never said what disease. He never even showed a plant. He never complained about it when he received it. I've ordered six clones over the past few years, so I had zero issues. There you go. But this is the type of stuff, every once in a while, I'll get a customer that wants to blame me for their garden issues after they've had it for months in advance. I've had probably about three people. And he's just pissed, swearing at me, calling me all kinds of names, this and that. I wasn't even gonna talk about this or mention this. And just been out, it's like, what do you want me to do, dude? What do, you, what do you want? What do you want from me? You've had enough time to veg that out and already clone it. But yet you're trying to tell me that I've, the problem with, with your plant. Does it, Am I wrong? Is this my problem? You know, let me know, guys. And that's the other thing. I am one of the most transparent growers on Instagram and social media. So, I've been getting a big pot of water and get it rolling, boil, and throw roots in there for three minutes to recharge. Okay, so lately, so lately, new technique, I've been getting big pot of water, get it rolling to a boil, then throw in your roots in there for three minutes, not too long, let them cool down and then soak the base. It's kind of like a recharge, boom, roots in 10 days and no pathogens at all. <sighs> well, that's, that's a nice little uh, pointer there, dude. So, I don't know you guys, he can let he, he can bash me all he wants, but the fact is, is if he really wants to get into it, I'll show people the day he ordered, which was back in December. I'll show people the day he got it, which was in January, and I'll show people his email to me, his ludicrous email. I actually shared it with Mr. Tight. He uh, got a little chuckle out of it. It's it just some people we just a they don't admit that they've done anything. And you just can't satisfy everyone. You know, here's the thing. If he didn't come off as a total fucking douche canoe, I would have certainly just offered him up another clone to see if that would have made him happy. But he went on to cuss, swear, call me a hack, tell me I don't know anything about growing. He told me I don't know anything about growing. Dude, there's a very good chance I might have been growing longer than this motherfucker. All right? <laughs> Newbies. <laughs> I kind of thought maybe that's that. Then he's telling me to... You want to talk to my botanist or whoever about it, you can. It's like, dude, I, I'm not. Why would I do that? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. So I just stopped talking to him. He can bash me and do whatever he wants, man. I don't really care. Used to get white PM on plugs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, here's the thing about that guy. You just brought up the, the white PM on plugs. When he ordered, I ended up having um, a tray of clones dampen off on me. And I messaged him to let him know, hey, 
had to restart a new tray. I didn't give him the details of what happened. So he added that in his email. No wonder you're having so many problems over there. What it was, you guys, is it was high temperature, lots of moisture on the inside of the dome, and too much heat. It dampened off all the clones and caused fuzzy mold on top of them. I'm not gonna give that to people. I trashed that whole tray, sterilized and sanitized the tray, and started over with new plugs, new everything. So he tried to turn that into me having some big disease issue which he has no clue about so that dude on ig can go fucking jump on a bedpost how about that one guy how about that so there you go that's the story he's had a plant over eight weeks in his garden that he broke and happened to look at the stem and he said because the stem's hollow this is your fault you're selling diseased plants. I didn't even answer him for two days, you guys. I just kind of sat there and thought about it. People need to realize life happens and nature will take over real quick. You know? It's like, okay, do you already got clones of it going? You know, did you lose the whole... I mean, if you snapped the branch off, I would have hurried up and took cuttings of it before it all wilted and died. So, I don't know. He was so bad, I had to block him on my email. And I don't really block people no more. I used to do that years ago, block, I don't no more. I just let people say what they say. If I gotta defend myself, I will. But, uh, you know, is what it is. Looks like I'm running out of heat. So, that's what's happened. He's trying to start some inter internet drama because he feels super butt hurt that he fucking apparently sucks at gardening. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know if that's true or not, but, you know, when you come to start blaming me, come on now. All right. I got my Super Booth clone a few weeks ago, and it's whooping ass. Awesome, dude. Listen, I want to tell you something about that Super Booth. It does not like to be overwatered, so heads up, man. I've done it twice, and she'll get all kind of wilty on you and not happy as fuck, but just let her dry out. I like to use a lot of methods I've learned from you. No complaints at all. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Hey, man, I'm not perfect. But in this situation with that guy, this isn't my fault. Okay? It's not my fault. To call up or to message somebody and blame somebody for their garden bullshit that's been in their possession for over eight weeks is bullshit. All right? Is bullshit. But like I said, if he would have just been cool, I would have straight up just offered him another clone just to make him happy and shut him up, really. <sighs> just to shut him up, man. All right, Super Boof's whipping ass. All right, before we get talking about this clone dome thing, Hollow is good. Dudes, now see, I, I agree with you on that. I don't see it as often hollow stems after you take a cutting, you want to take a clone cutting, as much as I saw it when I was running DWC. When I was running DWC, straight hydroponics, a lot of the clones had that, you know, I'd cut them off and you, you know, it seemed like a little hole down in there. I never had no issues. They just cloned it up. So, whatever. You know, the guys all talk about stuff being diseased. Hollow or not, doesn't matter. They will both rot. Exactly. The dude had the most disgusting, dirtiest fingernails. Now, he could have just had his hands deep in dirt and transplanting. But, dude, don't hit me up telling me I'm a hack and I got diseased this and I'm dirty when you're just sporting the most disgusting-ass nails, dude. Okay? I'm not trying to judge your character, but, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. All right, let's get a dab going. Uh, would hollow stems allow more water uptake? Like, indeed, I think that's prop. You could be right, dude. You know, that could be, because I don't see that a whole lot no more. I mean, watch this. I'm gonna go right in here. I'm gonna snip one right off my uh, lemon cherry gelato.
Now look at that. That's a beautiful lemon cherry gelato that I just snipped off. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see this on camera, guys. I figured the dude was gonna try to bash me at some point. I don't really care. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna really be able to see it. But it this isn't hollow. It's nice and green. His, it looked like he almost stuck it like in the dirt or something. And cause it 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 had some uh it looked like it was like it had a brown dark center. So that's where I'm like, okay, dude, why don't you get your garden looked at? Or step back and think about your garden being infected. Oh. This is nice lemon cherry gelato. This thing will root up. This this is one of our fastest rooters, too, by the way. He didn't like you were a hack when he bought. He didn't. Exactly. He didn't. And I can go back and he'll. I could show you the. Oh, man. You know, these look great and fantastic when they showed up. It's not until he fucking broke it. He admitted that he broke it himself. That he was upset. It must have not been able to be recovered. When all he had to do was just be cordially somewhat nice to me, I would have just sent him another one. No questions asked. I'm, I probably would have made him pay for the shipping, but I'd have just stuck it right in the mail. I wouldn't have thought twice about it, you guys. So, uh, what's that? Is that guy selling? I don't know. Not even having problems, 100%. <laughs> You think watering too soon before the dryback will make internode further apart? Do you guys think watering too soon before dryback? Oh, where'd my where'd it go? Will make internode farther apart in flower. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really. I don't really think so. I don't really think so. How long until Chem 91 snips are available? Oh, you, you actually want snips? Let me go look. She might be ready now. Jeez, I think I'm gonna go stick this in a plug real quick. Yeah, bro, I, I could do you a snip order today. I could take off uh, three nice snips. So yeah, Josh, feel free to uh, head on over to mg1brands.com and uh, place an order. It shouldn't be sold. It shouldn't say sold out. You should be able to place an order. Just in the comment box, say that you want snips. I got some great snips I could take off it right now and lots of good fresh growth because I uh, took clones a week ago off it. So I'd put that in a plug too. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude, I just did. <laughs> all right all right no i wouldn't say that having light too far from the plant though yeah there you go matt makes a good point I, I agree with matt i don't think it would but if the light's too far away you're definitely gonna have it a lot of stretch now go look on my medgrower one instagram page i posted a picture of my um sour d she was in the chamber, sour tea grows big, with a few other plants, and the light was a little too high. Anyways, it kind of stretched out. So that was a direct result of light distance, overcrowding, and probably airflow. Kind of made my, you know, she was a beast. I got a bunch of clones off her, but she she was a little little more stretchy than we than we would like. So, all right, let me get something together here. I want to smoke down. I got got all my fucking sports cards out because. I'm trying to get them graded and selling them. What do we got here? I missed that. Depends on genetics. You're better off running higher temps at night and cooler temps uh, for the first 30 minutes of light. Okay, I, I get that. I agreed the light would, yep. Brad's down with that. Oh yeah, I have Sour D, dude. She's a fucking beast. When I pulled her out and brought her out here, I was like, holy shit. Man, she's a stretched out hoe, but look how big she is. And I took, I think I took 10 or 15 cuttings off that. They're in the tray right now. But yeah, man, you can head on over to the website again and order up some sour D, brother. 
All right, where's the rig? Okay. So, <clears throat> lemon cherry G was yes. Lemon cherry gelato, man. You guys keep that light. If you're running LEDs, I'd keep that light about like that on that lemon cherry gelato because she wants to grow big. She wants to race to the light. But hey, man, she's a great cloner, great root base, and she just wants to grow. What happened here? All right. So we're going to bust out the Focus V. This is my new favorite toy since Christmas. I see a VPD chart on your wall. Yeah, yeah. You can get that from uh, PulseGrow.com. I think they sell them for 10 or 15 bucks. Um, they're kind of cool to put up just to... The reason why mine's up is because of live streaming and just chat topics and, and stuff like that. But they're still pretty awesome to have up. Just for reference... All right, so I'm going to get some of Pedro's Critical Kush. It's so sticky, I can't get the fucking lid off, homie. I got it. All right, I got her prepped. Hanging out in my shed grow room. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Little Critical. Super greasy. You know Pedro. He loves that Critical. All right. Everybody get ready. Cheers it up. And this little knife thing is badass, you guys. You just take it and press the button and just boom, like getting butter out of the dish of the fridge. Bang. Hit that button again. Oh, shit. You guys, I made a big mess. So far, this video is turning out how not to fuck up your dab. I got it right on the side. There we go. Well, that's going to be a big cleanup. Oh, God. It tastes so damn good, Pedro. You better watch out, though. You smoke too much of this <coughs> critical cushion in the morning. Dude, your day will be... It'll set the tone on you. It's from Boston Roots. You know what's funny about that guy? He wants to bash me on IG, but he doesn't tag me. <laughs> what's is that like a bitch move or what? <laughs> no problem. I have no one to talk to about it. That sucks. But you got us, right? He is a rosin making maniac. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a big mess to clean up. You know what? I'll just bring out the dome. I'll go get one. Just for the topic of what we're talking about today. Wow, that cleaned up pretty good. Yep. These are expensive, but I got it on Black Friday. It's been totally worth it. All right, let me go get a, the dome real quick. All right, let's see if I missed anything cool real quick. Nope. If anything, I believe the dryness would help her with the girth, the stress, and then the abundance of water all of a sudden i have noticed a growth spurt all right let me grab a clone dome all right gang so this is the one that we set up last week on the live stream i'm gonna tilt you guys down a little bit here All right, now, these are open right now, but for the sake of conversation, I'm gonna turn them closed. 
Now, one of the practices I've been doing since going to this style of cloning, since I've been a cultivar reseller, is learning how to vent the domes properly in a, in a proper time. <laughs> What's this? Boston Roots bashes you. Boston Roots bashes me. Isn't that, isn't Boston Roots a, 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 a clone uh, company? Why they bought bash me? Because I sell them cheaper? Because he posted a picture of a clone that had thrips all over it and I messaged him and thought, told him I thought it was fucking crazy that he did that. He blocked me. He blocked me. He can bash me all he wants. Here's the fact. I got a lot of the same cultivars as homie, but you can come to me and get them way cheaper than Boston Roots sells them to you for. That's a fact. Look at their website, then come look at mine. He can bash me. He blocked me. That's See, that's, that's the thing that I find it. You want to bash somebody on social media, but you hurry up and block them so they can't see all your bashing, so you can't bash them back. That's cowardness. Total cowardness. It's a lot of the reasons why I don't uh, block anybody anymore. Because I'm not a coward. I'll say what I feel. If it fucking butt hurts you, then so be it. You're the one that's offended. So, whatever. You can do whatever you want with it. I don't even know exactly. Boston Roots is who did the sure banger. What did he do to the shirt banger? All right, let's get back to what we're talking about. All right, it's back to this. So after you get your dome set up like we did, you guys, this, of course, this is a lot of, uh, um, this is basic cloning info. At least I'm trying to make it that way. So after four days of being in the clone dome, quarter crack your vents. All right, quarter crack both vents. Pay attention. Look at the, look at the leaves, see if they start curling in on you. If they do, then just close your close your vents back up or close one of them back up, okay? And that should stop that. And then come back the next day and do it or maybe a couple hours later and start it again. Once you get the quarter crack going, the next day, quarter crack it more. And so on and so on. This is after day floor of being in the dome. Start cracking them a quarter inch at a time until they're fully opened. Okay, and that'll take, you know, three, four days. Then after that, the next move do, now this is all a process moving towards hardening your clones off. And you wanna start hardening them off as soon as you possibly can. So starting with the quarter turns, roots probably will start showing up day five, six, seven. So doing this is not a big deal. The next thing you'll wanna do is slide your dough, see how that, now these Floriflex ones, they got that little nipple right there. Just bump that, Oh, I went too far, you guys. I fucking heavy handed that bitch. Just bump it over like that. What that does is it opens up a little gap here on the end and will start letting air in to help harden it off. If everything's going well, I will actually, the next day, move it even a little farther over to add a bigger gap okay so by day 10 I would assume that you're fully in the hardened off mode if you follow that since I've been following that everything's been going awesome with the hardening off and I get way way less 
um, dampening off in mold. All right, let me go put this back, okay? Yeah, and keep the live going. That is kind of cool. All right, so right now, officially, we're on half half open on that dome. So then tomorrow, it'll be three quarters, then the next day, it'll be fully open. So I'm about right. I'm landing on about day 10 of those being, nine, 10 of being fully open. All right. Oh. All right, let's see where we're at. That is cool. Oh, okay. I've met Boston, dude. Uh, probably about three times. It was a super cool dude. When we first met, he came over and shook our hand, blah, blah. He just got upset because he posted a picture of a customer that got a clone from him and it had thrips on it. Now I imagine the thrips came from that dude's garden and not Boston clones. But I still was like, dude, I can't believe, because people will assume that. Some people will assume that the, the, the bugs came from Boston clone because he was tagging them. So whatever, I'm done talking about the peoples. Yep. They can be mad all they want. If you're still mad, because this has been a couple few months now about it, damn, dude. Holy shit. I don't let nothing like that drag on for months. Well, social media shit. People are soft nowadays, you guys. People are primal punches and great straight. Ooh, yeah, I got a bunch of those. Two all cracked out, you guys. That uh, sent me some of the old school um, primal punch F1s from the ocean grown days. It's awesome. If you got any of these laying around, you have not opened them and the seal is still all intact um, with the right seal number on it because I can reach out and we can verify the seal number. I will trade you a clone for a pack. So if you got them, hit me up. We can get a trade going. Okay. There we go. All right. So that's where we're at. The next thing after all that, I would start doing, after we're venting them and getting to the hardening off point, start paying attention to your drybacks on your cubes. Let them dry some, because when they dry, it makes the clone shoot the roots out to look for the water, all right? As soon as I start, <laughs> you're letting it bother you too much. We all know your shit is good. <laughs> Ugh. Listen, back in the day, I really let it used to bother me. And that's just probably because of my Irish-Scottish heritage. Um, but nowadays, I really don't. I really don't. Customer's going to send me some crazy email. I'm going to respond to that. Joe Schmo on the internet, social media anymore? Don't fucking care. Don't care. Um, but yeah, pay attention to your drybacks after after that point when you start getting these vents. Because if you pull one up and you see a, a little root starting to shoot out, that's when you'll want to take a little water. Yeah, I hope Vader's doing good too. Last time I talked to Dago, he was he was doing good. He's kind of like working a, a nine-to-five job now too. Pour a little a little bit of water and don't don't flood the tray, the catch tray on that dome. Just Put enough in there to where it just kind of goes out a little bit because you don't want to oversaturate the cubes, all right? But what you're trying to do is get those roots to go crazy and shoot everywhere, all over the place. <coughs> and I promise you, <coughs> if you do that, they will shoot all over the place. All right, 
Cheers, Meg Grower one from Phoenix. Ooh, yeah. Bet you the weather's better there than here. Fuck, it's cold today. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Anything else? Other than that, I'm probably going to end the stream. And uh, we'll definitely try to keep these YouTube live streams um, topic oriented as best as possible. But I do believe, as I've always said to you guys, the best shows are the ones to where the chat is really carrying the topic and, and the conversation. And I think you guys agree with me. All right. One question before I get out of here. was just a busy year for him. We've got some new crosses starting the testing runs this year. Oh, there you go. There you go. See, I need to reach out to my friends some more often than I do. All right, I don't eat, eat a lot of edibles, but I do smoke a lot of fucking weed. I got a bag here of 100 milligram edibles, cannabis-infused gummy coins, so I imagine they're like that. It's some sort of berry flavor. How many of these would you recommend me to eat? I weigh 175 pounds. I smoke every day, at least three to four times a day. Can you get Mexican flan strain? I don't know. I, I've never even heard of that. <laughs> so three, all right, I need, all right, let's go. Everybody's like three, 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 okay. All right, so you guys come out three. I do wanna let you know, <laughs> yeah, Jason's like, yeah, bro, I'll just eat two. I don't want to be fucking. All right, it is spring break. My all my kids are home, and even my fucking wife, dude. So I can't be a fucking drooling fool. What'd that say? A hundred mil. Yeah, these are a hundred milligrams each. So, yes. It's got no CBD in it. It says. I love this though. Ninety-eight point nine percent THC <laughs> you guys really think that that's how much it has do you really think so well I'll just turn you off Alexa uh, all right I'll eat one now I've ate 100 milligrams before just one it really oh shit dude I just dropped a $500 sports card on the floor <laughs> I've ate 100 milligram uh Thing before and it didn't do shit for me. Yeah, I just dropped my Aiden Hutchinson autographed swatch card. And the 100 milligram really didn't do shit. So that's what I was wondering. Mexican flan is wedding cake times animal. One of the best I've had in a long time. Ooh, definitely sounds interesting for sure. You got the kids okay, don't eat the bag. <laughs> just half the fucking bag. Ugh. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, I'm going to get out and out of here. But if you guys ever have any issue with me whatsoever, hey, man, hit me up in a decent, calm manner. We'll get shit figured out. Um, come at me with rude comments. We're most likely not going to, because I'm not caving to that. that. All right. Other than that, you guys have yourself a great Wednesday. We'll be back here next Wednesday. Um, we'll try to come up with a topic, but meet us on Facebook. Fridays for Wake and Bake Over on uh, Megara One Live Instagram page. I'm still going to do the Friday morning Wake and Bakes. I'm going to try to keep consistent, man. Consistent. Of the Monster Kosher Kush I got. Oh, yeah. I just sent Mr. Tight Cat Kosher Kush, too, and a few other strains. So, yeah, yeah. Send me that picture, my man. So, you guys all have yourself a great Wednesday. Stay safe. Peace.